Good morning, church. Welcome to our Monday morning Facebook Live devotions. As we begin our day in the Word of God, as we continue to go through the Gospel of Matthew, verse by verse. And so you can open up your Bibles and turn to Matthew chapter 16 today. Matthew chapter 16. And after you get there, you can go ahead and hit the share button as we continue to build believers to reach out and connect people to Jesus. So Matthew chapter 16 today, and then hit the share button. I'll be using an ESV version of the Bible this morning. And so if yours reads a little differently, then uh, you just have a little different translation. And so Matthew 16, as this is a turning point for Jesus in his ministry when it comes to his disciples. As it's his last year of ministry and he's making his way to the cross, we see the conflict and the hostility towards Jesus, which is even bringing some enemies together against him. And that's what we saw Friday with a devotion with Matthew 16, which was verses 1 through 4. We're going to pick up today with verse 5. <clears throat> but in verses 1 through 4, the Pharisees and the Sadducees, religious sects and leaders in Jewish customs, but yet they totally don't like each other and disagree. But one thing's brought them together, and that is their hatred for this street rabbi preacher, Jesus, who has these huge crowds. And so that's where we're going to pick up today. Before we get started, though, the question is, um, growing up, or in your life, what are those things that you remember that you were told to beware of or to watch out for? To beware of or watch out for? I remember being a little kid and your parents teaching you to walk across the street and to beware and to watch out for cars and how important it was to look both directions and to look multiple times before crossing the road. Also, there are times that uh, my wife and I will, will be walking on a trail and it will tell us some things to be aware of. And just last week when we were walking on a trail, uh, there was a lady walking in the direction coming towards us. And like a lot of us do, we have our ear pods or our headphones on to where she went from listening to music and walking towards us quietly to a frantic. And that what put her in a frantic was that there was a snake there on the trail. And so what are those things in your life that you've been told or taught to be aware of or to watch out for? Because that's going to be the teaching of Jesus today. He's going to say, beware and watch out for the teachings of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. And how important it is for us as followers of Jesus to beware and to watch out for false doctrine. And so um, that's what we're going to learn today. Matthew 16, beginning at verse 5. When the disciples reached the other side, they had forgotten to bring any bread. Jesus said to them, Watch and beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. And so that's why it's so important to remember what happened on Friday, this conflict that Jesus had between the Pharisees and the Sadducees. As the Pharisees and Sadducees have this hostility towards Jesus and they came to test him, but really they're trying to take him down. And so after this, Jesus and his disciples, they get in their boat and they go to the other side. And as they go there, and maybe they left in a hurry, uh, the disciples realize we didn't bring food. We don't have any bread. And how important it is when they go on a journey or travel, especially in that day and age, it's not like they can just stop somewhere at the grocery store or pick up some fast food. If you don't have food with you, you may not eat that day. And so they realize this mistake. And they re also realize that what they're talking about is not what Jesus is talking about. He's not worried about bread. God will provide. And he's going to remind them that God always provides. So be important to listen to what I'm teaching you about the spiritual matters. Don't get so focused on the earthly matters is what we're going to see. Verse 7, And they begin discussing it among themselves, saying, We brought no bread. But Jesus, aware of this, said, O oh, you of little faith, why are you discussing among yourselves the fact that you have no bread? Do you not yet perceive? Do you not remember the five loaves for the 5,000 and how many baskets you gathered? Or the seven loaves for the 4,000 and how many baskets you gathered? How is it that you will fail to understand that I did not speak about bread? Beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and Sadducees. 
And so a misunderstanding between Jesus and his disciples, which we see a lot. Jesus is talking about spiritual matters and to watch out for the false doctrine of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. And he's using imagery that they can best relate to, and that is beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and Sadducees. The leaven is the yeast. Yeast permeates. It causes bread to rise. It spreads. And so that's why Jesus uses this analogy. And in the Old Testament, yeast is sin. We remember in Exodus chapter 12, that uh, Passover and the last plague, that Jesus would remind them that uh, the Israelites didn't have time to let the yeast rise in the bread. They had to hurry up and get out of Egypt when they had their chance and the Feast of Unleavened Bread. For a week, the Jewish people would remove yeast from their house and they would search their homes everywhere, removing it. And the imagery of removing sin from our life as the, as the um, Pharaoh and the Egyptians in the Old Testament had a hardened heart towards God and worshiped false idols, God is bringing His chosen people out of that Egyptian slavery into the promised land, leaving the place of sin into a land of glory. And so that's what Jesus is talking about here. And as the disciples have this misunderstanding that they think that it's about who forgot the bread and worried about the bread, Jesus is talking about doctrine instead. He reminds them, why are you worried about physical bread? I mean, you should understand this. I mean, it wasn't that long ago that I fed the 5,000. I fed the 4,000. You were there. God will provide for our daily food. That's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is be aware and watch out for the false doctrine of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. Now, when it comes to the doctrine of the Pharisees, they were known more in that time as legalistic conservatives when it came to the Old Testament. They adhered to the entire Old Testament. The first five books, the Law of Moses, the Torah, which us as Christians call the Pentateuch, but also the prophets and the writings. But the Sadducees, they only used the first five books of the Bible, the Law of Moses. But they were more about political things and wealth and earthly movement. The Word of God had kind of served its purpose. And so when it came to theology, the Sadducees were more liberal in their beliefs. And so you have this legalism and you have this liberalism of God's Word in the Old Testament that separates the Pharisees and the Sadducees. The Pharisees, they believed in spiritual things like angels and demons and the resurrection. The Sadducees, they didn't believe in those things. And so that's why Jesus is saying, you got to watch out for both of them. The Pharisees, they're so focused on the law and legalism and what would Moses do that they've missed out on the grace and the compassion and the love of Jesus because Jesus is full truth and grace. And to the Sadducees, they have gotten away from the scriptures altogether. And so that is their ditch that they have fallen into. And so Jesus is saying, be aware of these false doctrines and that there can be a ditch on both sides of legalism where the word of God becomes all about the law and you leave out the gospel. And it can be all about, well, the word of God serves no purpose anymore on the Sadducee liberal side. People can just do whatever they want. Jesus is always teaching his disciples and us as followers of Jesus, the kingdom of God is both truth and grace. We don't want to be legalistic, but we also never want to discredit the Bible. And the Bible is the Word of God, and we should always take sin seriously. And that sin points us to Jesus. And so that's why it's very important that we have that balance of that sound doctrine, that law and that gospel, that truth and that grace. Verse 12, Then they understood that He did not tell them to be aware of the leaven of bread, but of the teaching of the Pharisees and Sadducees. That word teaching is doctrine in the Greek. And so that's why it's so important for us as followers of Jesus as we live in this world to have sound doctrine, to teach, preach, and confess what does the Word of God say, and to know those doctrines, that the law always shows us our sin, but it always points us to our Savior Jesus, and that we should always take sin seriously because what it says in Galatians 5 verse 9, just a little lump, just a little bit, of yeast, just a little bit of sin can ruin the whole batch, the whole dough. And so we take sin seriously 
but it's important that we also remember His grace, that we don't become so legalistic that we miss out on the true purpose of Jesus and His Word, and that is to show His people their sins and their need for a Savior that they find in Jesus. And so we always want to follow sound doctrine is what Jesus is teaching us today. In the world, we hear so many voices, we hear so many things. We always need to check those voices and those check, check those things that we take in with the Word of God. What does the Word of God say? Because that's our source of truth and grace. That's the way, the truth, and the life that points us to Jesus. And so that's what we need to beware and watch out for today, is all those voices and those things that go against Jesus and go against His Word. We want to watch out for that legalism. We don't want to become legalistic, but we also don't want to become where the Bible and sin is no longer important and we just discredit it. We want to walk right in that middle road of following Jesus who's 100% truth and 100% grace. We bow our heads to pray. Heavenly Father, Lord, we're thankful that you have given us everything that we need for this life. You have given us your word, your truth, and the fulfillment of that word and truth and grace in our Savior, Jesus, who is the way, the truth, and the life. Lord, as we follow Jesus today, we ask that you would continue to move in our hearts, in our lives, and in our souls as you continue to mold us and shape us to be your children. We're thankful for the victory of the sacrifice of our Savior, Jesus, on the cross and the victory of the empty tomb as we go out today to live these resurrected, glorious lives. Lord, we know how important it is to follow the teachings of your word and your truth to build our life upon it. Help us to always check the things that we hear and that we see to the scriptures. What does the Bible say? And to remember the sound doctrine that you have given us as we follow you. We are thankful for that. In Jesus' name, amen. Friends in Christ, have a blessed day as we follow and grow in Jesus today. Amen.